So Silent Hills gets cancelled. They somehow managed to sabotage this project and hurt my feelings where I intended to get immersed in a world designed by the kingpin of the game directors, Hideo Kojima. I won't get to play this beautiful survival horror which deals with some intense storyline that... <laughs> Never mind. Anyways, I'm Shardul from Gamers Reward and I'm here to unfold Resident Evil 7 Biohazard in just about 5 minutes. Here we go. Ethan sets out on a path to find his missing wife for almost 3 years without letting the police know about the email he found because why bother? He thinks he's a doom guy. Ethan makes his way through the woods which leads him to the basement where he finds his wife comfortably napping. She tells him she didn't send him the email and tells him to get out of this place as daddy would be here any minute. Midway we lose her only to find her trying to kill us with anything that's remotely pointy. We defeat her with something more pointy before we get a call from someone named Zoe who advises us to head to the attic. So a missing Mia and a chainsaw hand later, Ethan finally settles the argument with his nagging wife in the attic only to be subdued by the head of the Baker family, Jack Baker aka Daddy. He is held captive by Jack, his wife Margaret, their son Lucas and some mysterious Mrs. Professor Xavier. He escapes his captors before he is time and again haunted by Jack Baker. So a dead cop and an intense car sequence later, we head to the basement to play a hell in a cell with Jack Baker where Ethan dismantles the discount Wolverine before getting a call from Zoe again as she tells us that she is the daughter of the Baker family and is also infected. But the infection can be cured using a serum which is the combination of a hand and a head. Zoe already has the head, we need to get the hand. So we get the hand after killing the discount Spider-Man of the Baker family, Margaret. Ethan heads back to the trailer where Lucas tells us to solve his puzzles to get to Zoe and Mia. Ethan obliges. He finds Mia and Zoe. While Zoe combines two elements to make two serums, the union is interrupted by now an ugly Jack Baker who is pissed on Zoe. Daddy does <laughs> and Ethan does pew, 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 and injects the serum in his ass to neutralize him once and for all. But here's the dilemma. Ethan uses one serum order too, leaving him to decide who should be cured between Mia and Zoe. My Ethan chooses Mia over Zoe and they leave almost with the boat but some black sludge rises from the marsh and kidnaps Ethan. Mia ends up on the record ship and searches for Ethan while experiencing visions of Evelyn who refers to her as Mommy. Evelyn later reveals that Mia was a covert operative for an unknown organization that experimented on Evelyn as a bioweapon. Mia was transporting Evelyn somewhere while she escapes the containment and infects everyone controlling their minds. She infects Mia as well. After finding Ethan, Mia gives him a vial of Evelyn's genetic material E001. He later learns that the Baker family was infected by Evelyn as they brought Mia and Evelyn home after the accident caused on the ship. Evelyn is an E-series bioweapon capable of infecting people with a psychotropic pole that gives her control over her victims' minds. Um, she vomits the shit, people get infected, she controls them, they kill whatever moves, that's that. Using the lab resources and Evelyn's genetic material, Ethan synthesizes a toxin to kill her. Evelyn assaults Ethan with hallucinations but he overcomes them and injects Evelyn with the toxin, ending a facade and revealing that she is actually Mrs. Professor Xavier. Now those are the side effects of being a bioweapon. You are aging rapidly. She later mutates into a large monster, she does and Ethan does pew pew and she dies. Chris Redfield makes an entry in the scene and escorts Ethan to his chopper where Mia is waiting for him in there alive and they head to their homes while the creepy umbrella logo makes an appearance which makes it quite apparent that Mia has been working for them. Well you must be thinking what happened to Lucas Baker. Some files reveal that he works for the organization as well. He observes the Baker family members and reports back to the organization. In the beginning of the story, when Mia tries to walk us out of the home, we find a crate where a photograph lies and if you turn the photograph around, there's E001 written on it. But guess what? The photograph is of Mrs. Professor Xavier. So that is Evelyn. The game tries to tell us right from the beginning, she is Evelyn. And that's all I got for now. Before I sign out of this video, a huge shout out to Zinclick Media for designing and developing our website www.gamersterror.com. Please do visit our website to know more about our channel. The link will be given in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do let me know in the comment section down below how you liked it. Please also like, share, subscribe to our channel and watch more fun stuff like this. Till then, I'm Shardul and thank you for listening to me. Bye-bye.